Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and here we are again with another tutorial in Unity on NGUI. Now the last time we left off we had our uh, little vital bar here working. Uh, now I want to get into the driver, uh, why we're using it and uh, how we're going to use it. So I'm actually going to go ahead shrink all this up. Here's our vital bar here. I'm actually going to go ahead drag this onto the prefabs because I want to make a prefab of it. And I'm going to go ahead and take our driver and I'm going to drag that up under panel. And uh, here it is right here. And I've thought about this a little bit since the last time I made uh, a video. The way I was originally going to have it was everything was going to have its own scene. And all my driver scripts were going to be called driver and then the number of the scene. But there's no guarantee that I'm actually going to have uh, these scenes in this order all the time. And I don't want to have, you know, like scene one, scene two. So I'm actually going to change the name of our driver script. And let's just go ahead. We'll change it here. I'm going to change the actual name of the scene that this belongs to now, instead of just uh, a number. So this scene was called Vital Bar. And I'm actually going to change the name of that scene too, to Vital Bar Basic. And I'll come down here and call this Vital Bar Basic. And I forgot the driver part. I do want to have the driver on it. And I don't think I can change it. Uh, without actually opening up, maybe I have to change inside first. So vital bar basic driver. And oh, I'd like it to be spelt right. And I'm just actually going to cut and paste that. So I'll save it. I'm going to close it. I'll come down here, rename it. And go ahead, click on my driver, make sure it's uh, the same over here. Great. Uh, so let's go in. We're going to open up the script for the vital bar, which I think I already have open. Yes, I do. Vital bar basic. Now, before we were actually creating the start function, which we we're just passing values in to actually get it to display properly. And I could go another step further and actually maybe change it to an update, expose some variables, and adjust them on the fly while it's running to see the changes. But that's not really what I, I want to do. I want to have this component, or I guess to use Unity terms, this prefab, uh, pre-built to be able to work in any game that I want to put it into. And I don't want to have all this code in there to test it, like this stuff here. I want to have another script to do that. So that's basically what your driver script is for. So we'll go ahead and we'll delete that. I'm going to save it off. Uh, if I start it back up, it should just be full. Nothing there, no display, because by default we have the display turned off. So we'll just go ahead, we'll close this, and let's jump into our actual driver script. So I do not have it open, so we'll go ahead and open it. And right down here, the on click, uh, we're going to be doing pretty much everything in there. Uh, but I do want to expose a few variables here. First is the text that I want to be displayed. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just create a public string. I'll just call it str. And uh, let me see, we also want some sort of value. So let's just do a, uh, since I'm going to be using this as a, a health bar system, I'm going to go ahead and create two more variables for the min and max health. Or instead of being min and max health, it's min and max value. And of course, I'll make them float. Well, let's make them ints. And I'm just going to call this uh, min value. And we need one more int for a max value. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll save this off. Uh, just go ahead, click our driver just to make sure they're being exposed. We have no errors. Great. It's the string I want to be displayed. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it blank. Uh, min value, uh, we're just going to start off, say, uh, 100. I guess we should make that current value. Yeah. And 200. So I'm actually going to change. Well, we'll just, yeah, I'll change it just to make a little bit more sense. And the name of the variables changed, so we'll have to do this again. And when we hit the click, we're going to want to get a reference to the health bar. And there's a few ways we can do that. Um, I think I'm just going to get an actual direct reference. So public. Uh, vital bar 
and I'm just going to call it BB. Save that off. Uh, click my driver again. Now, if it wants to reference to the vital bar, we'll just go, we'll drag that on. So this is the reason why I'm thinking about moving it up here so I don't have to dig down to the child itself, but great, we got a reference. We're going to come down, um, start, I'm not going to do anything in. Uh, I'm just going to do everything in on click. So every time I cl click uh, that little button that says driver, uh, I want to do something different. And that's really just send a message to, I guess I could make two buttons, send a message to these functions to test them out. So I'm going to start off with, uh, well, let's start off with the string one first. So we're going to say VB dot update display. And we'll just do uh, min value or current value divided by max value. Now we'll have to pay attention here because both of these were ints. So if we actually just did it this way, it's only going to send an integer. It's going to round it off and it's going to be zero. Not what we want. Since it has to take a float, uh, we'll just type cast it as a float. And well, let's just test this off, test this first. So we go ahead and we hit play, nothing there, we hit the driver button, boom, it jumps down to 50%. And if we actually highlight the driver over here, um, let's see, vital bar, okay, let's close some of these. We'll just keep the one open that we need. Uh, let's make this down to 50, which is 25%. And if we go ahead and hit the driver button again, there we go, it goes down to 25%. And we'll do one more where we go down to 10. And when we click the driver button, we notice it goes down even further. So let's go ahead, we'll stop this. And let's go ahead, we'll head back into our script for it. And I'm gonna go ahead and make another variable. This will be a Boolean type, so public, bool, and let's gonna say display text. And by default, I'm gonna start this off as false. Then I come down to my button click, and we're just gonna take a look at that the uh, value of that Boolean. So if not display text, display the one without the text. Else, let's go ahead and actually send it some text as well. Uh, so the text I want to send actually is just a uh, current value. And then we're going to concat I don't know, a division sign onto that. And then we'll also throw on the, uh, was it max value? Yes. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that off. We'll head back into our game. No compiler errors. I'm going to go ahead and select the driver just so we can see it. And we'll go ahead, we'll start it up. And uh, by default, you know, there's nothing there. It's at full. Then we'll go ahead and hit the driver button. And because we had it set to uh, current value 100, max value 200, which is 50%, you know, it drops down to 50%. Now let's go ahead and actually take the display text. Go ahead and hit driver again. And uh, it's up to... Well, it shows the actual value. Now, one thing you have to take note of is that when you click outside of your scene, so if I were to come over here and go, you know, 100 and let's go 25, all right, let's go 250. This will actually put it above it, so it should still stop. We'll do the display text. When you come back into your scene, you have to click somewhere in the scene before you can interact with it. So there we go. It does still stop there, and it still does dis it does display uh, the 250. And... You know, if that's an effect you don't want in your game, that's something you have to do with parsing the string and uh, passing it in. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. We'll make this a negative number. So the only test left I want to do. And the main purpose of this video is just to show you how to well, use the button a little bit more and also show how to set up your driver. So there we go. It is done. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.